now let's uh, look into the second case that is view or shallow copy so there are different uh, array objects uh, can share the same data so the view method creates a new array object that looks at the same data so let's uh, look into one example uh, to have a clear cut understanding so this one is second uh, it's a view or shallow copy yeah so let me take a, a c a new variable and a dot with view method is going to be attached to that so now let me call c and you see that the complete a has been attached to this but the c will check whether c is a or not absolutely not c is not a because what happened because c is a view of the data owned by a that's it nothing much so it's not uh, the c is not a because c is not directly mapped with that c is just a view it's like a mirror it's just a, like it's like a frame so that you can you can you can look into the uh, a array a array okay so c is just a view that's it it's not the exact array so that's the reason it's false and let, let's do another one c dot c dot base is a true when you give c dot base is a true because c is a view of the data owned by a that's the reason we got this and when i say c dot flags dot own data it's false again because the yes shape doesn't change okay and what i'm gonna do is this time so i will reshape i will reshape the c and let's see whether a shape a will change or not because these are because c doesn't have a uh, c is just a view of a so c dot reshape two two rows and six columns and execute it and let me call a dot shape a dot shape remains same so three comma four and c is two six that's why c and a are not same and c is just the view of the a so let's uh check one more so this time i'm gonna index it so zero rows and column four and execute it you got the four so so let me equal to one two three four so the is data so i'm attaching this number at this location now let me check is data so is data has been changed you see that here one two three i have done a change in c but the a data has been changed why the is data changed because of this view the view it's only about the view clear so now uh, let's get back to the slide so the second case here is slicing an array returns a view of it when you slice an array it's gonna returns a view of it we'll do that so now let's take uh, a slice s uh, i'm gonna slice it uh, from array a a and then colon after that i will put the column uh, slicing one two three and let me execute it and let me check uh, s of colon and i'll equate it to 10 so here s of colon that means start to end is a view of s note that the difference between s equals to 10 and s of colon equals to 10 so let me execute it and so now let me call a and here is the changes you got the 10 here everywhere 
because if you see the s array s array is nothing but a of this and it's a view so now when i did uh, s of uh, start to end of the s and equate it to 10 so all the second column and the third column and all three rows uh, 10 has been added this is what the slicing and array basically returns a view of it this this is how we can prove it so because here what we did we have sliced a correct yes or no we have sliced a and then that slice we have allocated to s correct so now after that when have i have done an assignment operation to this slice then uh, as it is a view the slice is nothing but a view in this case the values has been added here same thing happened when you change an element in the view that will be reflected in the main original array and the same thing happened when i did a change into my uh, a change into my slice uh, uh, slice and the changes has been reflected into my original array. Hence proved slicing an array returns a view of it.